So, Hungry Girl, you're about to take on your fastest recipes ever. Do you think you can handle it? I know I can. Me and my crew of easy ingredients, we are beyond fast. But can you keep it guilt-free? Please. I was born guilt-free. The race is on. Today, I'm whipping up amazing under-five-minute dishes like my creamy Lino Cipino, decadent, fancy five-minute grilled cheese, savory, speedy tuna noodle skillet, and my tropical dessert island parfait. Then I am racing over to the market for my favorite fast finds. I'm Lisa Lillian, better known as Hungry Girl, wow. keeping it guilt-free and delicious. So hungry. Hey there! Why am I running? Because today's show, everything will happen, all the recipes in less than five minutes. That was my little run. There's my little sporty jacket. That's a three. It's less than five. It's true. My first recipe today is Lino Cipino. I love this recipe. This is basil. Here's some shrimp. Cipino is tomato-based fish stew, and this is a fantastic recipe. Not only is it fast, not only is it delicious, it was actually created by my husband. Now, he throws in a bazillion ingredients. I make a version that's a lot faster. It's just as delicious. I will show you how to do it. First, we turn on our burner. We want to turn that on to medium heat. Right here, we have creamy tomato soup, two cans. You want to look for creamy tomato soup that has four grams of fat or less per serving. And watch out, because that stuff splashes. And now for some clams. This is a can of clams, 10 ounces. You could also find a pouched clam. These are pre-cooked clams. Don't be scared of canned clams. They actually work great in this recipe. I'm draining them. I don't want to dilute the creaminess and the deliciousness of the soup. And it also saves sodium when you drain them. But if you don't care about sodium and you like the taste of the clam juice, go for it. Get those clams in there. And some itty bitty adorable shrimp. I use bay shrimp because there's more of them. There are about 30 of these. It's six ounces of shrimp. If you want to use slightly larger shrimp, you can do that as well. That's a lot of shrimp. Some oregano. Quarter teaspoon of that. And a little salt. See how easy this is? So fast. Some pepper. And basil. As much or as little as you like. Give this a nice little chop. Fresh herbs are a great way to add flavor without fat. And so easy. Stir it. You're going to need to let this cook for only two minutes. This recipe is probably like a three and a half minute recipe. That's crazy fast. Everything in here is already cooked, so we just want to heat it up. Okay, I see the bubbles. It is already done. Fast, 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 and it smells terrific. Now, a serving size of this stuff is one cup, and it has 185 calories, three and a half grams of fat, 19 whopping grams of protein. Sometimes I eat two servings of this, still under 400 calories, and that is a full meal. That tomato soup is so creamy. That fresh basil, it's unbelievable. You know, there are so many ingredients you can find at your local market that can help you create dishes fast and easy and totally guilt-free. I am taking you shopping right now. Check it out. Hang on to your carts because we are off. I'm revved up to find the quickest food fixes out there. I'm talking time savers, easy to prepare ingredients, and all of them guilt free. So let's talk about mashed potatoes. Now you're probably thinking mashed potatoes, a guilt free ingredient. They have only about 80 to 110 calories before you do the add ins. But guess what? You are in complete control. So I ignore the directions on the package and I add what I like. I add light butter and fat free milk, and then I make savory parfaits and casseroles. They are so quick and so delicious. Now another ingredient I like that is super fast, these pouches of tuna and salmon, that is it. You rip open the pouch, you pour it out, there's your protein right there. Just dump it on a salad, mix it up with a little bit of fat-free mayo, make a deli salad, a fast sandwich, you name it, you got it. Love that stuff. Now if you don't have a lot of time but you still want a hot, delicious, super fast meal, you need vegetables. Frozen vegetables that steam in the bag. These things are incredible. They're easy to use. They come with a lot of different variety. Look at that. And this one actually has sauce mixed right in. 
low fat sauce, so throw a little protein in there and you are good to go. Now they also have fresh veggies that steam in the bag as well. That's really convenient, especially if you like only fresh vegetables. Look how cute these Brussels sprouts are. I love you. Mwah. If you want your protein fast and easy, pre-cooked, pre-cut chicken breast. 35 calories an ounce. It's right there on the shelves. So you don't have to cook that chicken. This is really convenient and it tastes good. You can eat it straight out of the pack if you like. More protein options, veggie burgers, frozen, 130 calories or less. So many varieties. Some taste like vegetables, some taste like beef. Pick and choose. Try them all and then decide which ones you like. Now you know the fastest way to get great guilt-free foods to your face. You can thank me later. As you know, there are plenty of ingredients you need to keep on hand in your kitchen or pantry that will help you create guilt-free, super fast meals and snacks. But did you know there were gadgets that also help you save not only time, but calories? It is true, and I have three here right now that I want to share with you. First up, this is a microwavable veggie steamer. I love steaming fresh vegetables. The microwavable veggie steamer saves you tons of time. They steam in the microwave with a little water in just a few minutes. Less than five minutes to steam these veggies. Good stuff. Next up, this is a coffee grinder. Now, of course you can use it to grind your coffee beans, but a lot of my recipes call for ground up, high fiber cereal twigs like these. And I like to grind them in the blender, but sometimes you don't really want to whip out the blender for a small amount of cereal. So in times like that, you turn them into these beautiful high fiber cereal crumbs in the coffee grinder. The only thing I ask is that you get a designated coffee grinder just for this. Otherwise your cereal crumbs may taste like coffee. You don't want coffee onion rings. Finally, this is a Mr. When it comes to oil and salad dressings, any liquid that's high in fat and high in calories, it is a good idea to put it in one of these little misting bottles so you don't overuse it. When I bake my kale to make little kale chips, I like to mist it with olive oil. Check that out. Look at that nice, light misting of oil. It'll help make it crunchy. You don't overuse it. Three things you need to add to your life right now. Okay, when we come back, I'm gonna make my fancy five minute grilled cheese, then my super comforting and super fast, speedy tuna noodle skillet, and later, three tasty bonus recipes you can whip up in a jiff. Stay tuned. And everything today is fast, 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 under five minute recipes. Right now it's time for my fancy five minute grilled cheese. Two kinds of cheese, roasted red pepper, and this only has 200 calories. I am hitting up my grill pan with a little nonstick cooking spray to prevent sticking without adding many calories at all. And I am turning that on to medium high heat. So easy, so fun, so creamy, so cheesy. This is light bread. You gotta reach into the middle there to get better slices. They're bigger. You don't want the end slices. Come on. Who does? I look for bread that has about 40 or 45 calories a slice. Also, some bread that has fiber. And now you can find all kinds of light white bread with fiber, so look for one of those. This is my favorite kind of cheese. It's a creamy cheese wedge, low fat, has about 35 calories a wedge. I'm gonna spread that onto one slice of my bread. It spreads better at room temp. There's two kinds of cheese in this grilled cheese, not one. It's for cheese lovers. Next ingredient is a roasted red pepper. Look at that thing, that is colossal. Slice this into strips. Okay. Beautiful, we will lay that on top of the cheese. Love the smoky flavor of this. That's gorgeous. And a slice of fat-free American cheese. And we'll cover that up. Now for the fun part, this is light buttery spread. This is what makes this grilled cheese really decadent. I'm gonna use one tablespoon of that, divided. We take half of this buttery spread, that's a half a tablespoon. We get it on top of our bread. We're gonna grill this, and the butter is gonna help make it nice and toasty and delicious and creamy. But that is not enough. We're gonna hit that up with a little garlic powder. Give it a little garlicky flair. Get this onto our grill pan. Butter side down, obviously. Whoa, gotta love that sizzle. Now we butter the top while this cooks. It's only gonna cook for about a minute and a half. That's all you need. Get our garlic going. 